time for a stream. That stuff has wanted to help me the last uh, with the killer cast room, but uh, they didn't respond, so I guess we're just gonna queue up ourselves. Uh, what's the what's the button? Duty finder. Oh god, wait. Actually, now that I think about it... Um... Okay. of it and then any of these two is Hyotun, which is a bomb. Gotcha. Average wait time ten minutes. Do some fates down here.
Weights and Armaments has chosen here. Drive away the creatures. Baron has grown big. the time run out? Well. Guess I'm not doing that. <clears throat>
coming. whatever I was doing before. Time for Miska. Full party. world of unskippable cutscenes. Gastro Meridianum. Oh good, the short one. Jesus, I want Castro. Screaming fight with the lady. That's okay. You're just a little too late. I mean, you'd have to pop into Q and stuff anyway. So, turns out okay. Besides, we haven't um we haven't gotten quite to Praetorium yet, so you're still safe. Be in the voice chat if you want to hop in. Oh yeah, let's just get. <laughs> Wait, they just follow. Holy shit! God, wait. Yeah. You can't even skip through the dialogue. What can no. I say? I couldn't bear to let you have all the fun. But don't worry, Biggs and Wedge have everything in hand. Truth be told, I think they like having the work of three men. It sounds like engineers. 
Wedge wasn't exactly True. pleased to be left behind, though, and made quite sure I knew it. I must say our recent struggles have done wonders for the lad's spirit. Wedge was uh, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Given the size of this place, I suspected there might be an armor or three to be had. And here we are. Also, I've become a bun boy. Ah, oh, good, good. I am also a bun boy, a short king. I went the shortest I could go with the tallest ears. Oh, I went the shortest I could go with the shortest ears. No, no, I gotta overcompensate somewhere. Hmm. The ultimate weapon is indeed being housed in the Praetorium. Bwah. Deactivate the field, you need to locate and disable them all. And I'm here to help you do just that. See that chute? It leads to waste disposal. Ah, yes, into the garbage. Somewhere nearby, there will be a cerulean facility so up supplying fuel to the closest of the three towers. Find the place and break things. Go on ahead, Horizontal. I'll be along as soon as I finish my repairs. Oh, that's right. We all have to jump into it. Yep. You, you gotta go. Into now the garbage. Start, start running. It's so fast. I'm not joking. Start running. I started running. Uh. Alright, so you see where it just showed you in the cutscene? Run directly there. Do not look at anything along the way. I remember this part of the dungeon. <laughs> you just kind of skip it. It doesn't exist. It's not real. It can't hurt you. Taking a little long. Yeah, the guy in front of me is called Derpra Soup. You gotta kill everything to get the explosives. Ah, I see. I'm sure someone's doing stuff. <laughs>
I'm sure there are like aspects to this dungeon that I should be looking at and knowing. I think I need to scrap the whole file I had going. Exciting. I swear, I, 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 my hand is not like used to playing video games anymore. I can't hit shit. I'm just like, ooh, I mean, here's, here's the button combination for my mudras. I'm a quarter in. Yeah, I remember. I remember this dungeon being pretty long. <laughs> to be fair, I tab out in this dungeon in Praetorium a lot, and I'll like shop. So it passes really quickly for me. I also thought you were much further along than you were. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> I think I've only ever done this in like two or three times. I probably hit it on a, like a, a daily run or something. Almost certainly. Yeah. Always need people to play Casper. Mm -hmm. Open the game. Attempt to log in. Oh, I get to play today. Um, I will say that these AOEs actually hurt. Yeah? Yeah. When you're like not a tank and also can't heal yourself. Yeah. They also end up getting really sick. to wait for Sid to show up. This might take a while. Watch my back. 
Okay. Oh, this is looking pretty dangerous, huh? They're all dead. Look, my Boudra. <laughs> I am the blue leveling dungeon. Ah, oh, love that. I'm almost there. Up. Keep that thing occupied. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Um, did you know that there is a city called Remote? There's a city called Remote. You said? Remote. 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 Oh. Remote for again. It's a real place. gotten here and I still don't actually understand what's happening on the screen. <laughs> Guess where yeah. I am? It's Copper Bell Mines. Uh. I'm just gonna spin in circles. Damn it, there goes the core. I fear I may have overestimated its maximum operating capacity by a few orders of magnitude. I blame Marquez. Wow. So it's literally, literally like, who would do this? Anyone else but me. Well, well, the traitor himself, and with his meddlesome friend for company. I can't take her seriously when she's writing this stupid thing. <laughs> so much. I like love it's like it. it's like custom decal um, for her too. I think you it's head this. Horizontal. I need to get to the way? bottom. Or something. And we have to pick up a thingy. Oh, I was wrong. me, are you all right? That's an assault craft you're up against. You don't stand a chance with conventional weapons. You can't dagger a tank, I guess. It's Even very hard right here. There. A mortar, a cannon, anything. Hold on, Horizontal, I'm on my way. Yeah. 
I feel like I have taken down many a machine with my with my knives. Fools, if you are resolved to die here, you might at least have done so without first making a mess of the place. I see that Garland is not with you. More's the pity. I had hoped to slay him myself, but never mind the traitor for now. I have so looked forward to this meeting. Horizontal milk. Yes! <laughs> I know much and more about you, about your strength and your hidden talents. I would sample them firsthand, and you will indulge me. for the hand to slowly move oh, it, that's right. shoot the cannon, and Force. then you run into the middle so that the cannon doesn't get destroyed. It is, it, it is too extremely funny when she's just there, sitting on it while it explodes. <laughs> My lord was quite taken with you and, your, and the power you possess. The Echo. Naturally, I could not help but wonder whom this prince among men might be. Lol. 
only to discover that you are but another adventure, no better than the multitude. Yet in spite of this, the masses hold you their champion and shower honors upon your head. It defies all reason. How is it that you could be such a thorn in our side? Wherever you appear, you leave havoc in your wake. You even slew Rititin, one of our very finest. Well, I will not speculate. Wait, you did? Oh, you did. Yeah, he's <laughs> just such a short fight, and he's, he just feels so insignificant. I if know he's not, like, logic. No, no, but, like, the thing is that, like, you fight him once, and that dungeon takes, like, three minutes. Like, you cannot have him. His dreams and his ambitions, his body and soul, they are mine! Oh. Oh my. Lady, you got some issues. I will kill you, adventure. Only your death can bring me peace. Come on. Lady, you got some issues. Sometimes I get voice lines in the, in the fight. Yeah. She got giga murked. I love when all the ads show up and nobody cares. No, <laughs> it's happening all over again. No. My ads. Oh, I have to. What? I cannot bear. Oh, is this the end of the dungeon? Oh, yeah, that's the end of the dungeon. Oh, no wonder I can start controlling. My lord, Gaius. I was kind of hoping she would explode. Nope. She just expires. Or takes a nap. Mm, I see. Another poor fool who craved Gaius' affection over all else. May her soul no rest. She wanted the booty. Tis a miracle no harm has come to you, my friend. One for which I will happily give thanks. And the wonders do not end there. Truthfully now, did you really mean to send that assault craft crashing to the generator tower? If you did, you're a bloody liar. If you didn't, well, you're too modest. Whichever you are, you've managed to open the way to the Praetorium. The only problem is we can't reach it on foot. I don't know what the fuck he was saying there either. Nay, we'll need to take the Enterprise. I left her at the Cerulean Processing Plant, so let's regroup there. This is it, Horizontal. The final confrontation awaits. Hey, I'm almost done this dungeon. Cool. Hmm, Allegan Tombstone. I'm the only one left in this dungeon. <laughs> uh huh. But think of all the commendations you'll have. Wow, all the commendations. Wait a minute. I knew you wouldn't let us down, soldier. When the Praetorium strips of its defenses, the way to the Ultima weapon lies open. The time has come for the final phase of Operation Archon. Yours is the most dangerous mission of all, but the best must bear the heaviest burden, and you're the best we have. There's not another soul in this realm that could see this deed done, and Merylweb and Kane are of the same mind as me. Though all hangs on your success, you must not let our plight make you desperate. Victory belongs to the bold, not the reckless. Bards are wont to sing of heroes who valued their life at naught next to honor, love, and liberty, but I tell you now, that which men value at naught, they sell cheap. Risk no more than you must, you hear me? Now, best you are off. We have work to do. 
of the both of us. See that your preparations are in order, then report to Sid. He awaits you with the Enterprise at the Ceruleum Processing Plant. May Ralgar grant you strength. I could walk. <laughs> Last boss fight, and I'll be there. Good. I think by the time all these conversations are done, we might we might be both open. The Enterprise is at your disposal. When you're ready to head for the Praetorium, you need only say the word. If we succeed in destroying the Ultima weapon, it will deal a crippling blow to the Empire's hopes of conquest. After that, the 14th Legion would dare not to uh, would not dare to move against us, barring the discovery of further Allegan Doomsday devices. Thanks. Let's be on our way, Horizontal. Gaius and his plaything await! The Praetorium, now accessible. Yep. Um, go, uh, go talk to some more people. Whatever. Uh, I'll just sit here. Okay. Maybe I'll go take a bathroom break, actually. I realize that I'm not, I'm like extremely not a cold weather person. Ugh. Yeah. Wow, good timing. Oh, I finished a little bit before that. Fixed up my head song. Uh, let's see. The Praetorium. Yeah, I'm extremely not a cold weather person. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I like walk outside and it's slightly colder in the rest of the house than it is in, um, office and it just makes me like not want to do anything like I look at all the dishes in the sink and I'm just like <sighs> it's awful amazing like it really just makes me want to like cocoon until the, the springtime I don't think I was made for winter that's fair also uh enjoy your tank cues Are you tank because there's no healer cues I wish there were healer cues. 
I miss them. I miss my children. I suppose that's what happens. Uh, that's what happens if they don't release the need to gain the class. Yeah. The people, I think, didn't pick up Gunbreaker immediately, or I just no, I wasn't on. When? Uh, yeah. Eyes. So here we are. God, what a what a fucking motley crew. The Ultima weapon will almost certainly be housed in the depths of the complex. I hope this character is only as tall as Sid, because I haven't seen them next to each other. It's just so many bunnies. <laughs> oh, there's this me all the way friend. in the back. Alright, uh, guess who's not turning on Tang Stance? It's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do it. Yeah, yeah, go! I believe in you! No, no, give me the terminal. Off. Yeah, this character is truly short. I love it. <laughs> it's funny not being extremely tall for once. Mm -hmm. I'll be tall again once. It's not even that we're like particularly short. It's just like like the, the world is normal sized again. What's even better is playing Ephemero. Oh yeah. More is there even taller? Alright, um... I'm not gonna sacrifice myself. You do it, I believe in you. God. Ah, I can't fucking Get touch the thing. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it's really hard to, to touch the thing through everybody on top of it. Yep. <laughs> I like how this person in our party- wait, what? Um, a level 85 sprout? Wait, who is a level 85 and a sprout? <laughs> ah, Sid, my boy, you are late. There is something I always meant to tell you, yet the time never seemed right. It concerns your father. What of him? In the winter of his years, Midas came to abhor his part in Meteor. He told me that he wanted nothing more than to wash his hands of the whole sordid business. But he did not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project until the day it killed him. Come now, Sid. You must know that he did not have the luxury of choice. By the time he realized his error, it was too late. Meteor had him completely in its clutches. Shortly before his transformation, mayhap sensing that something was amiss, your father confided in me all the regrets in his life. Most of them concerned you. Early on in your career, my god, this guy talks a lot. <laughs> Long before you knew your own mind, he saw that you would be far happier using your knowledge for peaceful purposes and thought touched him. He was a changed man for it, though. He could not let it show. You blew holes in this place just so you could say this to me? What is it you want, Gaius? I want you at my side, Sid. 
Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. It is your destiny. My father had a change of heart. You said so yourself. Besides, I have long known my destiny, and I assure you it lies not with the Empire. A pity. And what of you, adventurer? Will you not consider making common cause with me? With your powers joined to mine, we might do much for this realm. Together we could bring order to Eorzea and usher in a lasting peace. No, and I can expect no better answer than this. So be it. It was your strength that made me proffer my hand and friendship, and it is your strength that makes me proffer now my blade. Save as an ally, you are too dangerous to let exist. Everyone's just like, square up? Run, Sid, or stay. It makes no matter. You cannot escape the past. Gaius, wait! Ah, damn it! He used the lift. He took the elevator, now we gotta wait for him to come back. Wiggly when he falls down, I forgot. <laughs> it's all that Amazon shopping. Just not paying attention, looking for stuff for an apartment. Knowing Gaius, he is headed for the Ultima Weapon. If we find him, so too will we find our quarry. With these instruments, we can monitor every nook and cranny in the castle. I think it's time we divided our forces. Pray, go on and give chase. I'll track your movements from here and guide you through the complex. We'll stay in contact via Link Pearl. Be careful, alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm just reading the chat logs. This is really funny. <laughs> Almost a thousand hours, but I still feel like a sprout. <laughs> uh... And yet, some things will continue to make you feel like a sprout eternally. You know what really makes me feel like a sprout? Mm. Watching Triss breathe. <laughs> like... I'm just like, I've never seen circles like this before. Mm. Oh shit, do I need to interact? Ah. Yeah, you need a card. Shit. Thank you. Okay. Are you on? Cause now you now you get a mech after several cutscenes. People in this One game are so helpful. Sometimes they're actually helpful, and sometimes they're not helpful. Slurp. Don't don't slurp. Don't don't slurp the mech. 
And you're getting slurped into the mech. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Your mech recognizes you. Ah, there she is. I trust you recognize our old friend. Maggie, was it? We must have shipped her here from Sentry. Considering all she's been through, it's a wonder she's still operational. Tough old girl. Now that you're suitably armed, you can blast open that bulkhead. The external walkway will take you back there. Follow it till you come down a way down to the lower level. If you forget to pick that up, you just run through. You just run? <laughs> Alright, time to explode some things! Mm. Or shoot them, you can also shoot them. Yeah, there was a point where you could skip all of these cutscenes, and uh, it was not interactive at all. Oh no. Anyway. Uh, that person's experience is what you can't skip cutscenes. <laughs> Seven player accommodate. That's actually so funny. Because I mean, by the time you like get through the first cutscene, they're halfway through the whole dungeon. Oh my god, that's actually so funny. But yeah, anyway, that's why uh, the cutscenes are unskippable now. But the dream days when you could speedrun Praetorium. And now you get more stuff because you can't speedrun Praetorium. Wow. Uh, you should try not to get hit too much more. Probably not. Thankfully, we're at the end of the next section. Oh, um, uh, yes. Uh, you're a melee class, so... For actually hitting enemies, you were the best person to limit break. So okay. when we get into this room, uh, you or someone else will want to limit break on the boss. On the boss. Yes. Because when so this fight time. starts, it gets rid of all of your limit break gauge. Oh, exciting. Wait, when it starts? Yes. Oh, but you okay? So, but it doesn't. So if you start your limit break before right. the fight has actually been engaged with, you're good. Dude, that's so funny. That's so funny that yeah. that's how it works. That would require me to have my limit break on my bar somewhere. <laughs> it's fine. We're sure there's a reaper somewhere in this party. Oh yeah. Someone must vaguely know what they're doing. They explained it in chat. Which is why I bought it up. But that's that's the secret strats for this fight. You're a natural at this. Alright, the way is clear, but it's just you and your own two feet now, so be careful. She just leaves this mech here. Who has LB2? I mean, I do, but uh, it does nothing as a tank. Oh yeah, there's another cutscene before we even get in the room.
I forgot about this guy. How could you forget about James Marster's Final Fantasy? Oh wait, that's right, you haven't seen his face yet. You no, I have seen his face. Okay. Yeah, he looks... Nero Tolskiba. He looks incorrect. <laughs> Are you saying that James Mercer's also looks incorrect? No, it, 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 it's not that. He looks incorrect for the world we live in. <laughs> like, it, like the, in the fantasy world, he just doesn't look right. Highest ranking tribunus of the 14th. Tell me, Garland, how long do you intend to keep all the glory for yourself? Uh, what? You've lost me. Don't play the fool with me. Ever since the Academy, I have been condemned to live in your shadow. Wow. Imagine living in Sid's shadow. By all objective measure, Wait. I was the more talented of the two of us. Yet that fact counted for naught beside your privileged birth. You were admired as the young prodigy simply because your father was the great Midas von Garland. When you defected, I was sure my... etc. etc. It, it's mostly just like, I can't believe you were born with a silver spoon. In your mouth. Down, down with the no noble tea. I, meanwhile, have ever been made to feel second rate. I, who have continued to serve our nation faithfully. Sidney and Bloody Garland. Nero, I. I don't know what to say. Can you not trauma dump at me? <laughs> it matters not a whit what I achieve. Your existence has rendered mine worthless. Even Lord Van Belsar sought fit to offer you a place at his side, and this in spite of your betrayal. Did he extend any such offer to me, the man who has remained loyal? Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Oh my god, he's such an incel. <laughs> I'm glad they change his character eventually. Lord Van Balsar is in the midst of activating the fully powered ultimate weapon. It is my magnum opus, the creation that will win me the recognition I am due. I will not let anyone interfere. Nero, what are you? Ever since I first stepped foot in this benighted land, I have watched you. Every move you have made, every step you have taken, every breath! You have felt icons, a feat made possible by the Echo, a peculiar power which shields you from their corrupting influence. It is of little wonder that my lord has taken an interest in you. As have I, if truth be told, it is my desire to harness your power for use in the Ultima Weapon. He looks like an evil Power Ranger. I mean... That's what the Garleans are, evil Power Rangers. Well, you got a point there. Should I succeed, Lord Van Balsar will surely take notice. Beside this, Garland's achievements will be as child's play. Alright. Come, adventure, and yield to me the secrets of your power. Alright. I think this guy is just... Oh, there we go. Beat the limit break. I don't actually know where to find the limit break, so... Uh, it's in your actions. Yeah, um, I'm sure it is. Okay, here we go. No, don't you run away. He's pushing me. He's a bully. Yes. <laughs> yes, he actually is. Whee! Ah! Fuck, dude. <laughs> he pushes you so far. Oh, did he get it? Yes. Okay. All right. Um. What? Data center is Excalibur long. I think it's on Primal, why? Okay. This changes nothing. I'm just nothing. adding myself to the least. Is 
Did the lights actually turn off there? Oh, uh, I think he does turn the lights off so he can escape. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> the Ultima weapon is activated, etc. <laughs> moshi Moshi. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess so. Been worse. What if Nero fled? Damn it. In the instant prior to the blackout, the instruments detected a massive power surge in the deepest chamber. Word arrived from the Alliance a short while ago. It seems the Order of the Twin Adder has completed its blockade of Castrum Sentry. What hands they can spare are hastening this way even as we speak, and likewise for the Maelstrom. All that's left is, is to destroy the Ultima weapon. I should warn you, the chamber which houses the target appears to be saturated with etheric energies. There's bound to be heavy interference. But even if we lose contact, you must go on. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do, alright? I love that they show all the characters. Yes. Which gets a little bit weird sometimes. Oh, okay. The bunny lady wants to go fast. Whee! Why is it voiced from here on? Oh, it's not voiced from here on. Just here. Why? <laughs> I like that both of our bunny boys look very tired. Yep. I went for tired twink. I also got the freckles, because the freckles were very cute. Mm, Especially with this like mint cotton candy hot pink color combo. I forgot he kind of has that like British taste. Yeah. I'm just gonna pretend like that doesn't exist. British Sid isn't real. He can't hurt us. <laughs> Except he's not quite British. He's like. For who do you fight? Yeah, for whom do you fight? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Forgot they removed it for everyone! There used to be a choice that you had to make there. Uh... <laughs> this is made so much funnier by the fact that they removed the choices so that the cutscenes would move at the same speed for everyone. Actually, so they should have just done a Mass Effect like timer, just like choose before time runs out. Uh, they did originally. Oh, I see. But it was still longer because they just skips the voice option or choice option for anyone that's done it. Yeah. So now it's just like, for whom do you fight? Stairs. <laughs> for whom do you fight? <laughs> Chill, man. <laughs> He's such a like edgy, like God isn't real atheist. Oh, but yeah. He's just like, mm, checkmate, Christians. Those are the beasts, icons, everyone, except for this, and you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. Nor is this unknown to your masters. Which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? The answer, your masters lack the strength to do otherwise. That's... For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. Fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. 
Gaius Ben. Actually, colonialism was a good thing, Balsar. Knowing this, what a single path is oh my god. I forgot that he just turns himself colder. But technically, Labria turns him cold. That, that's even weirder. <laughs> that makes less sense. <laughs> Or at least the power of God, this is a long cutscene. This is a long elevator. Yeah. <laughs> the elevator is just the whole fucking building. To say I could push the not smart button, but then I didn't. I did not use so uh, super belied. What is that? Well, it makes you invulnerable for a little while. However, it drops you to one HP, and if you are not <laughs> to put your healer before then, uh, you die. You big die. It is in its boss chamber and everything. Cool. Cool. All right, I added myself to this list. What list is it? Oh, uh, it's on another server, just people playing Final Fantasy. Threatening us from on top of like a bigger monster. It has extremely like my older brother's gonna beat their shit out of you energy. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Oh, it's a mech. Of course it is. Get in the robot, guys. Like all good mechs, it appears to be vaguely made of metal flesh. Flametal. metal. Fla metal? Fla metal. Bear witness to the true power of the Ultima Weapon. Of the Ultima Weapon. <laughs> I like to think that when they build the ultimate weapon, they're like, okay, we 
need to combine all of the good parts of all animals on Earth. Oh yeah, I forgot he immediately turns after the fight starts. So it looks like you just didn't give a shit. I thought I was gonna kill no. the tank aggro. Um hang on. What is happening? You have my tank stance on for fucking Time to mug the ultimate weapon. <laughs> it feels so pointless, but it's so funny. My enemies still stand. Oh, uh, someone wants to know how you're enjoying the story. Yeah. You can press enter and respond during the cutscene. Yeah, I, I'm doing it now. La Habrea. Your foe acts under the protection of the crystal he bears. So, this is what empowers him. Beyond mortal limits. If you are to prevail, the hammer of darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the shield of light. And so it shall. For the ultimate weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. So they just slapped it the into a magic weapon. Within has lain dormant for eons. I like that because you can talk during cutscenes. Everybody's mm -hmm. just sitting there just like like they're watching eating popcorn and watching <laughs> <laughs> watching a movie in someone's living room. I sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the ultimate weapon lies within its now beating heart. Lahabria, what have you done? What have you done? No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. <laughs> Guys are like, God? I hate God! Damn you, Asian. Flop. <laughs> the hour is 
at hand. Behold but a sliver of my god's power. of the heavens, the world shall tremble. Unleash Ultima! Whoa. It sure was unleashed. Hold on, hold on. Wait oh, for it. Oh, oh. It's coming. Say the line. Titus laugh and such devastation. such devastation. This was, this was not my intention. intention. Such devastation. <laughs> it seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Van Belsar, your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to Bro, you. Bro, just grab him and squeeze him until he pops like a juice box. We will speak later, Ashian. Uh oh. You'll, you'll see soon. They go, they I actually do go over how, how does one kill an enemy? And someone's like, don't you just, uh, wait, actually. You remember that part in uh, Avengers Endgame when they're like, what do we do about Thanos? Mm -hmm. And Rudy is like, what if we just go back to baby Thanos and you know? <laughs> <laughs> just kill baby Thanos. Such devastation. This was not my intention. I kind of want a sage weapon that's little birds, little mechanical birds. Tank buttons are so good when you're lazy. Oh, uh, yeah, if you don't kill the little, the little robot buddies, uh, it gets a little. Can you do it? You did it. <laughs> and now for the easiest part. <laughs> Which is? Fighting <laughs> Walker for you. Oh, you still have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ungold your Balsar. Heed me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence, and their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail. And the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. I, I was you, supposed to be the Alpha Chad. People must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Burke. Uh, 
so I accidentally typed Rage Streets instead of Rage Strats. And now my brain is just going, the Rage Streets are at it again. Jeez. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with Even the, the voice actor for Labrea. Is, is the, the voice actor for Labrea the same as Thancred? I can't tell. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure. Still, you he has so much more fun with this than with so Thancred. He just doesn't give a shit. Thancred's about really boring. <laughs> He's just like, all right, okay, hey guys, I'm Thancred. Um, here's my part 42 of my Minecraft Let's Play. <laughs> and then Library is like, ha ha, I'm going to play Garfield in the Nickelodeon Brawl Stars game. Oh, unfortunately that wasn't real. The very but of game design, truly. Etheric truly. And physical will be warped beyond all recognition. God, I wish they would make a character that was just not available one day a week. Corruption. So fucking funny. Hydalin. Like a parasite, she must be burned out. If also, I have a much deeper cover. appreciation and for not, uh, but the return of the one true god. La Habrea, in theory, excision. at least, mm -hmm. after Shadowbringers. Yet to pave the way for the master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the primals. Needless to say, both you and your scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. All right, he's got his makeup on. Let's go. I think they might have changed some of the names. I haven't loaded in Great yet, line. but stuff is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got really good ping. Alright, time to mug La Habrea. <laughs> like, it doesn't do anything, I think. But it's so funny. Theoretically. Be gone. Oh my god, just die! There we go. I like how he was he was like at like one percent and everybody just <laughs> left to go to where the dungeon like exit is. <laughs> People have played this dungeon too many times. Oh, uh, a really, really good lead take. We'll just drag the whole thing to the exit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, GG's. No, there's no party members anymore. Fuck, they already <laughs> yeah, left. Yeah, you got a cutscene. Aw, oh, shit, I forgot I made the cutscene. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. <sighs> If thou wouldst pierce the shadows, make thee a blade of light.
The power of friendship. I like that yeah. Papalimo is there, but they've like moved him up so that he's not just like invisible. Papalimo <laughs> <laughs> just staring between several asses. He was also like completely washed out in the light, so it was like he barely existed. <laughs> All right, you can have this back. Do, do we have to? Forgot the renders in Final Fantasy just have teeth. Like a I normal know, it's just so teeth. distressing. <laughs> oh, get out of here. So anyway, wow, I received a player though. commendation. Looks down. Do I have to? <laughs> what, what if we simply meet him? I, I it's really heavy. Him, this place is going up, man. Hi. Your pet mech came for you. Okay. <laughs> Nods like I understand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's basically Sully, and oh my god, I can't remember his actual name. The the lion. Oh yeah. It's Sully the lion, basically. Such devastation. <laughs> and so my conquest ends, Sid. In smoke and ashes. Explodes. And you're just like, whoop, whoop. Hear, feel, think. If I saw this immediately after an explosion, I would I would think I was dead. Yeah. Like, oh shit, did I die? Fuck. Beloved son. The darkness hath fled before the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. Oh wait, I gotta uh Yet it lingereth still After beyond the, the sight streets. of men in forgotten corners of the world. In the depths of the abyss yet resideth the Dark One, watchful ever. Till this evil be cast out, never shall the world know aught but a passing peace. Yet for the present, a gentle light shineth o'er the realm of Eorzea. With thee at its heart. Do we ever tell anyone that we just occasionally talk to a big rock? From sparkling moat shall it uh, swell I don't to believe the so. glorious sun. And all the world shall bask in its warmth. Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for yours. I think eventually people and the figure lands it out. beyond through all the days of thy life. Well, that went much better than our last war. 
My lady, all Twin Adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Admiral, all hands accounted for. Why do they all just sound like different flavors of English? Is this what people think fantasy that. sounds like? Yes. Ugh. Sid, has there been no word? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Damnation! Damnation! He's going to make it, I know he is! It's so funny to have trends like, um, what is it, uh... To have Fantasia, and suddenly all the pronouns are different. Ida is right. Yeah. You must have this Imagine if the real world worked like this. So convenient, honestly. See, can they not be evacuated aboard the Just Enterprise? Just auto fills your pronouns. That adventurer and the scions are as the warriors of light reborn. We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again. Sorry, who are you again? I wholeheartedly agree. But flying into the midst of that would only add to the fireworks. There must be something we can do. Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light his way through the darkness. Hmm. Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return <laughs> safe to thee. Use the power of friendship. Show up like that in front of everyone. Guys, I brought Thancred. <laughs> Everyone's just like, oh. Thank the twelve. Thank Hydalin. Welcome home. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a good amount of cups eating. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's like an hour of cutscenes or something after this. Oh, no, no, no. It warns you before that hour. God, uh, I should just go get a snack before it, before the cut, the big cutscenes start. Yeah. No, for AR, absolutely, like, make some popcorn. Remember? Now, now. We both know that was your fault. Thank the Twelve, we're safe. Mind your horns there, man bull. Ha, Who is this last DPS refusing to accept? Though the crystal that bound Oh Thank man, I just more. realized I We're gonna have to run World of, of Darkness. And even if we could, we know mm. that he is not alone. Oh just you Asians. Confounded Asians. Their god may be unknown to us. But their zeal is unquestionable. Suffice it to say, it would be folly to assume that they no longer pose a threat. Nevertheless... For now, we must savor what peace we have won, however ephemeral. Do you see, Grandfather? Our first step towards realizing the dream for which you gave your life.
Oh, I'm in this. Oh, I am. Julia's voice from Yuki Sawashiro. Oh, we got fucking ripped off. <laughs> the dread night of imperial tyranny. Anasian machination is ending. Oh my god, I love Yuki Sawashiro. A new Fuck, day dude. Now begins in Just find all the cutscenes. True to their name. The science of the seven. Find all the cutscenes in Japanese. Champions. Have delivered us from darkness. It's really tempting. I'm not gonna lie. Shared victories serve to remind us of our shared history. And let their bravery in the face of adversity inspire future generations. Doubt not. The realm will need bravery in the days to come. Old rifts threaten to divide us within our walls, while hordes of beastmen claw at our gates. And though the Black Wolf be slain, the rest of the pack remains. Except for Rita Yet Tid. no foe need we fear, so long as we stand as one. So long Michi as the Nakamura is Thancred. Well, even Thancred's better. So long as our champions Literally stand everyone's fast. better. For there exists if I could no understand Japanese, like, fluently, I prevail. wouldn't have even bothered with English. <laughs> no longer can we turn a blind eye to the suffering of our allies. Oh, you stole his eye, Kaya. My god. No nation stands <laughs> they had alone. Some, they had some voice actor budget. Should fall, so shall we all. They set aside some but budget for the voice actor. For any yeah. one of us I mean, that's not to say that they didn't so for the neighbor. US one. It's just... Yeah. Just as we it's just like these are like A-list voice actors you in this Japan. Day. So too shall our grand companies be joined henceforth to strive not only for the good of mere nations, but for the good of all the realm. The good of all the realm. Change will not come overnight. Yet I foresee a day, not so very far from now, when the lines that divide our lands fade, and all of Eorzea is one. It has been but five short years since the Battle of Cartano. Five years since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. No victory, however sweet, can wash away our bitter sorrows. No triumph can reclaim those we lost. Yet do not presume you honor them by dwelling on the past. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by looking to the future. A future united, as the warriors of light united in the champion. Thank you. Oh, I died. Now is the time for us to rise as one, bearing all of Eorzea. Oh, oh our alliance is waving. Oh, oh this is good. Ago. Eorzea bore witness to the end of the sixth astral era. Now, uh, the seventh it would appear era that no draws one to a close. Yet we come together not to glory in its end, but to mark a new beginning. Hey. I like how she just has a gun. Let it be writ that, that on, on this day. day by, By the, the light, light of the crystal, crystal Eorzea ushered in a new era. It's not even like a normal gun, it's a double-barreled sawed-off shotgun. Yeah. World of doesn't play around. Credits. Did they fix that thing where you get kicked if you watch the credits? Uh, you don't get kicked. Okay, good. I like that it shows you this picture of like the Empire soldiers. 
Like it's a nostalgic yeah. picture of like the Just good like, old oh, days. Man, remember that time? Hey, remember when Riddleton was still alive? Is there anything I need to be here for while the credits roll, or...? Um... Yeah, there's scenes after the credits of the play immediately. Okay, but... Like, I can go grab some, like, chips and dip right now, though, right? Uh, yes. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. This song hurts you in Endwalker. Oh boy. I don't want that at all. <laughs> can I can I skip that actually? Can I skip that experience in Endwalker? I got my chips and dip. They're actually nice. crackers and dip, but chips, crackers, close enough. That's pretty close. It's these um, it's the cabaret crisp and buttery crackers. Oh. See, we're living fancy. Yeah, they were selling, um... A lot. At once. At Costco. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. I wanted to find what was the... UK equivalent of Costco. Um, that's a good question. The UK might have Costco. Yeah. Uh, you know what countries have Costco? Korea and Japan. Tell me if it's just too obnoxious to hear eating noises. I can't hear eating noises. Tris might hear eating noises. Okay, I found a solution. I just have to go to the other side of the microphone. <laughs> It's okay. This is a safe space.
Oh, God, our tank is dying. No, no. These like freeze frames kind of remind me of the Yakuza intro cuts. They're like bum bum. Yeah. Tataru, patriarch of the Tataru family. <laughs> uh, no, Tataru has a last name, but I can't remember what it is. And I'm a little afraid. I have not been introduced to a single character's last name except for my own. Wait. Oh. Hey, I finished my alliance read. Nice.
slowly dragging myself through the levels. Um, since you finished your snack, uh, unless you want to know about the legal department and sales and marketing, you can skip the rest of these. Or if you want to see the rest of the, like, freeze frames. Meteor Surf- oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the people that, uh, were <laughs> Let's see, uh, Galbalin, Gajin Dragonic, Gale Fantastic, Garnet Crow, Garoto Garoto, nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Garth Dark Heron Stonehouse, Gary Witch Joski! <laughs> All caps. <laughs> Gao, 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 Gao Uo Yama, Yamato, Gengoro Sanada, Genki Dan, or Genki Dan, I guess. Genki Dan. Genki Dan. Hack and Pluff. Halulala. <laughs> Hal Hal Rising. Hal Machama. Ian Rosick. Jack. Lots of Jacks. Holy shit, there's a <laughs> lot of Jacks. Lots of Jacobs. Oh my god, that's a lot of Jacobs. Kage Neko. Nice. Kaguya Yamato. Odin Sword Knight. That's a great name. <laughs> Pablo Perez Gomez Cabo Blanco Arona. Shout out to you, my guy. True. Wabi Sabi. <laughs> Warlock Warlord. Watsunaya Ferreira. Mm. You can also skip these if you want, but I think you're having fun. I'm having a little fun. Okay, we're, we're skipping this. Oh, well, Special Brandon. thanks, Mitsuhiro Arita. Hi, Brandon. I love how you're you're watching all of this, and I'm just like, hmm, time to check all my scratch tickets. I like oh. how Thancred has been derobed. They're like, you're not allowed to wear robes anymore. <laughs> Sorry, them's the rules. Uh, also, one of the numbers that y'all gave me for last week, uh, I actually won fourth prize! What is it? Oh god, I wasn't ready for voice acting. That roar. It can't be. Did you hear that? There's no time to spare. Where is it coming from? Dread tidings, chaos and carnage. It is an abomination! A primal! A primal has awakened! A primal has awakened! Everyone looks up. Hmm. That was actually a pretty pesky.
your voice acted with subtitles, and then you have voice acted without, and then you get the subtitles. But yeah, it's confusing. Bahamut stores. I think these are Zaz move star. We next starve Chemov, the only cars that pours right ball. To the one true God. It's just the world's like edgiest church congregation. <laughs> okay, I'm sure there's some kind of turnabout. And thus did Don break on our realm reborn. I'm sure there's some kind of turnabout, but it's so funny when you're just like when you pull the like, um, but where there is light, there is always shadow. When you pull the like, um, aha, like uh, things were not as you expected all along. Um, but then you have them, you have the f guys who like were like, ah, we were kind of the good guys sort of all along, and they're doing shit like this. <laughs> it's like no wonder people thought you were bad guys. Wow, they all do the fucking Evangelion clap as you walk by. Yeah. What? Yeah, edgy Deacons of the Deep. Deacons of the Deep are already edgy. The Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the celebration. Their findings strongly suggest that a new primal has appeared. The roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the Aether, a pattern observed only once before in history, five years ago to be precise. I should like to think it mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount that possibility. Well, I trust I need say no more. Deacons are not edgy, I guess. They're old men with sticks waiting. Uh, yeah, I guess so. At great sacrifice, we have delivered Eorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals and have thereby secured peace. We cannot well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. You have given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on I know not how many occasions. Yet our struggle continues, and we need you now, no less than before. Please continue to stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. Of this very star. Armor identification key. Ah. And a Fantasia. Nice. When I'm done being a bun boy, I can change back to whatever yes. I want. Flying unlocked. You can now fly while mounted in Lanosia, Thanalan, the Black Shard, Kurthus, Central Highlands, and Mordona. To take flight, simply jump while mounted. Hell nope. yeah. Oh. oh, we didn't do it soon enough. Wait, what is this? A recurring problem. Does Minfilia always look like that? Yes. <laughs> I know you have scarce had a chance to rest, but I am afraid there's still work to do. <laughs> Saves the world. World still needs saving. God damn it. The ultimate weapon's destruction, it would seem, has served to embolden the beastmen, who now seek to call down their gods once more. Even as we speak, the Amalja, the Ixel, and the Kobold are making preparations for their respective summoning rites, and that is but half of it. Much to our dismay, all three tribes were somehow something something. Oh. My turn to say something, M. Basically, this means the primals will be stronger than they were before. Uh, shows are mid <laughs> yeah. Far, far stronger. 
The previous incarnations will seem as pale imitations. The Beast Tribes, we believe, began hoarding crystals with a vengeance in the wake of the Ultima Weapon's maiden appearance. You will remember that as the time, um, it devoured three primals in one city. The Grand Companies are aware of the potential primal outbreak. Alas, due to the losses they incurred to ensure the success of Operation Archon, they are ill-equipped to take any meaningful measures. Uh, after deliberation, the leaders concluded that they must needs turn to us once more. To thee. The etheric waves that were observed in Mordona do not appear to bear a connection to any beast tribe. Yet, much and more still remains beyond our knowing. We must be prepared for all possibilities. I am loath to send you into the midst of dangers again so soon, but none have proven themselves more capable against the primals than you. Will you undertake this mission, Horizontal? Sure. You have my thanks. I truly do not know what we would do without you. Go ahead, Thancred. <coughs> <laughs> with, any, with circumstances as they are, I haven't had the chance to properly express my gratitude. I owe you my life, Horizontal. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. A string of failures had left me feeling powerless. I wanted to be stronger, and that I might do right by my fellow scions. But instead, I caused you all no end of grief and suffering. I swear to you, it shan't happen again. Owing to everyone's ministrations, I am quite recovered now. I hope to return to my duties again soon. Mm -hmm. Thancred's return marks the beginning of a new chapter for the Scions. Let us renew the fire in our hearts and continue to press ever forward. Now then, back to the matter of the primals. With no fewer than three of the beings threatening to appear, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. We must take it one sure step at a time. Urianger has the overview of the situation as it stands. Please speak with him to receive guidance on your mission. Okay. Horizontal, it pleases me to see you well. Do excuse me for interrupting, Horizontal. My lady, the gentleman from Ashgana Exports has just left. Uh, I understand now why you didn't want to receive him. You did well, Tataru. Please inform the guards that we will not be receiving any further guests this afternoon. We have literally just saved the world. Please, 10 <laughs> seconds. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> Bye. Ever since we defeated Gaius van Valsa and destroyed his ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world have followed our every move, scarce remembering to blink. Where once we worked in secret, with precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged by benefactors, each one more eager than the last to offer us his complete support. A true embarrassment of riches. Of course, every promise of patronage comes with a price. Some make their intentions known from the start, while others endeavor to engage us more subtly. Dress it how they will, the message is ever the same. We shall help you, but only if you help us. The gentleman Tatru spoke of was more brazen than most. In exchange for certain supplies, he would have us resolve a business dispute. Oh my god. Naturally, I refused him, as I have every other merchant of his ilk. Alas, the Syndicate's overtures are not so easily rejected. When we formed the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, it was with the goal of serving Eorzea, not the interests of individual Eorzeans. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause. In my heart, I know this to be true, and yet... And yet, if accepting these offers of patronage could empower us to do greater good, might they not warrant greater consideration? No. No, Minfilia, don't give in to the capitalists. Our Baldesian colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to... Forgive me, I did not mean to burden you so. Mm. Yet my urge to share this dilemma may not be wholly misguided. Might I impose upon you to consult the others? They are like to have their own opinions on this matter. Bah, 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 bah. 
And with that, we're gonna end the stream for today. Because I just basically wanted to get the, uh, the base game done so that we could continue the other stuff another time. When the queue times aren't so deadly. <laughs> Alright, bye.